Hi, my name is Min, and I have a totally different opinion than most of the bigger YouTubers out there who are making videos about this recent Nintendo Direct. So I really want to share them with you. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So my opinion totally differs. I found that this was the most amazing Direct I've seen. I am so happy with it. I think a lot of that has to do with that I went in with you know, not many expectations for what I was looking for. And I think a lot of the bigger YouTubers do go in with what they want, what they're specifically looking for. Obviously everyone wanted to get the Zelda title and the release date. And I totally understand that. I wanted that too. So if we didn't get that, I would have been pretty disappointed. So I understand how some people are feeling disappointed. But to those who are in the cozy community of gaming and love the RPGs, love the farming sims especially, then this was the direct for you, like absolutely. And that's how I'm feeling about it. When I was watching it, I was actually watching it through Wood's live stream on YouTube as he was live reacting to it. Um, but when, <laughs> when they announced Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, I was like freaking out, like this is awesome. And his reaction is like, nice. And then it's like another farming thing, nice. And I get that, that's like not his thing. But for me, I was so excited to see that game. So Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life was on the GameCube. And that was one of the first um, Harvest Moon games I was ever exposed to. I watched my brother play that all of the time on the GameCube and I was begging and pleading, please let me play, please let me try. And I really think that was part of how I ended up being obsessed with Harvest Moon on the Game Boy, playing Mineral Town. I was also really excited to see that this was a remake and that they weren't coming up with another game from scratch because I really did not like Olive Town, okay? I didn't like it. They left so much out. I know there was a different like guy kind of behind the, the game and all that, but yeah. So a remake, I think that's the right move for them to go. I was really, really excited about that. If you were also excited about that, let me know. I was not expecting that at all. I wasn't even thinking about them releasing a, a game anytime soon. The next game that got me pretty excited was Fay Farm. I thought that looked really cute. It looks like it has some fantasy elements and just seems pretty much like an adorable game that I would like. So that one also got me excited. Something different, I hadn't heard of this before and yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out. The next thing that got me super excited and from the same, you know, creators, Hakama, right? Well, Rune Factory 3 is going to be imported to the Switch. So I was super excited because I played Rune Factory 4 um, on the Switch because that was imported. Hadn't gotten to play that game. Didn't know what it was. I just knew that the same people that made Harvest Moon made the Rune Factory game. So I was like, let me try it out. And I loved it. I loved it actually even more than Harvest Moon because there's so much story. There's so much character development and it's just a really fun game. So I'm really excited to experience Rune Factory 3, especially because I didn't really enjoy Rune Factory 5. I'm still trying to get myself into that, keep going with it and try it out. But yeah, I was really, really pleasantly surprised to see that they're doing Rune Factory 3 import to the Switch. I actually love the art style of that game and I don't prefer the Rune Factory 5. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. The other thing that they mentioned is that Rune Factory um, has another game in development. So that was exciting as well. I know I, I just said I didn't like Rune Factory 5, but I think they're gonna take a lot of the feedback and make it even better than Rune Factory 5. And they have the ability to do that, so I'm really trusting that they do. And then they also announced Harvestella, which actually was already announced. People already knew about this game and that it's coming in November, but I was really excited to see that one. I kind of expected that to be in this, but I, yeah, I'm very excited for that game as well because I heard it's kind of mixed, a mixed genre, kind of like Rune Factory is, and it has been compared to that. So I'm very excited to experience that game. The demo was also released today, so I'm very excited to play. I'm gonna play that tomorrow on stream. So if you wanna follow me on Twitch, go ahead. I'm gonna be playing the demo and then maybe something else, but yeah. They also announced that there's going to be a Fall Guys season two. So I am, yeah, I'm I'm trying to find a different word than excited. 
Fall Guys season two, that's coming. And I think that's gonna be a nice little, you know, perk to the game. That's just a go-to game for me that I like to play when I don't really know what else to play. And I want to, you know, do something a little bit mindless, something that doesn't matter and has no like, you know, end plot to the game. So yeah, I just really, <laughs> I was excited to see that about this game. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying excited. And obviously they announced the Zelda name. So it's going to be called Tears of the Kingdom. And I think that has a pretty nice ring to it. Not as good as Breath of the Wild, but I do think it's awesome that we got a name. I would have been pretty disappointed if we didn't. And we got a release date. So that's going to be releasing in May. And I'm very excited about it as most people are. I'm very happy with this direct. I think it was totally tailored towards the cozy gaming community. It's exciting for us. So I really wanted to make this video to talk about it because I felt like no one was really as excited as I was, at least these big YouTubers. And I know that, you know, maybe these games just aren't for them and that things that they haven't checked out yet. If they haven't checked out Rune Factory, I would encourage them to. But yeah, there's just a lot of negativity surrounding this direct. And I wanted to kind of put my two cents into this and share how I'm feeling about it and that I am very excited about it. So if you feel the same way as me and you're pretty excited about it, then please let me know um, in the comments below what you're excited about. If you felt disappointed by this direct, let me know as well in the comments. Um, what disappointed you? What were you hoping for and expecting for that you didn't get? I know some people were hoping for like Animal Crossing, a new game in development or something like that. I know some people were looking for Metroid Prime, I guess. <laughs> I'm not interested in that. So but. if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos and kind of get to know me a little bit more. I'm also on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, <laughs> where you are right now. So yeah, feel free to check me out on all my other socials. They'll all be linked below and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you hopefully in my next video. All right, bye.